So I don't know if you're able to get into commons. I sent you a link in the document. If we need to meet, let me know. If I need to figure out something else, please let me know. Um, but I did go ahead and um, hide all those things you recommended. I never show those to kids. I just hadn't done them. Yes, this is like in my sandbox. Um, but wow, this was a lot of work. Um, but I think it's worth it. So I do have teacher's notes here that aren't published that I just basically took the unit plan from the, um, probably got a little less verbose as I went and might need to flesh those out a little bit more. Um, but I included like the Google slides for everything so that someone could follow my plan. Um, if I need to flesh this out a little bit more, I can work on that even more for you if you need me to. Um, but might be too late. Um, but definitely there was this whole unit plan um, there and it's all right in there. Um, but with my modules, there's the introduction that I've shown you before, but every lesson has some videos. Um, every lesson is kind of built the same way. If you look at like this intro to, to quadratics, um, just a quick little intro to each little lesson, the learning targets are listed. Some of the lessons I had to break down into a couple different videos. I closed captioned them. One or two of them have quizzes, but I tried to find some other ways. I mean, the kids have to take the guided notes or they should be taking the guided notes. If I'm in the classroom and they're in the classroom, I will walk around the beating the class while they're working on the warm up a lot of times and check to see that they've taken notes and just make a note of it. Um, I started out the year having them upload them to Canvas, but it became way too much. But so the lessons kind of have this whole structure with the key points and then telling them what they're going to do next. And of course, this is not the student view because I don't have to go through every lesson. Um, but there's a variety of different practices in here. A couple I excel assignments, a um, couple worksheets because they actually do need to graph. This Mad Lib, I love these Mad Libs. I think they're fun. And the kids tend to like them if I don't overdo them. Um, but I made it into a quiz. So, and personalize it a little bit. Um, so they give them practice evaluating the function and then they fill out a silly little sentence. Um, they have a form that I give them that they just fill it out. And this, if we're in the classroom, can be done um, with, I hang those out, print them out and hang them around the room. So that's one of the activities that I've chosen to do. I don't know if you've seen that yet. Um, you've seen the quiz. The little pencils represent practice. This is the textbook. I know you can't have access to that, um, but the textbook activity that I would assign to them. And I just give them directions on how to do that um, in the lesson. They go to Clever and access their textbook. It only says zero of one student submitted because I actually have a section this year with one student in it um, because of the wonky way that they did our grade books. So I have tons of grade books. This has been quite a fun year. Um, there's some quizzes in here. There's some review worksheets just a whole variety of things that I do with kids. And then there's the test. I didn't fix the rubric, um, but it's all right there for you. Um, let me know what I need to do if you need to get it somehow. But like I said, I put it into Canvas Commons for you.